Holy See. The Holy See, also called the See of Rome, is the apostolic episcopal see of the Bishop of Rome, known as the Pope, ex cathedra the universal ecclesiastical jurisdiction of the worldwide Catholic Church, and a sovereign entity of international law. Founded in the first century by Saints Peter and Paul, by virtue of Petrine and papal primacy according to Catholic tradition, it is the focal point of full communion for Catholic bishops and Catholics around the world organized in polities of the Latin Church, the 23 Eastern Catholic Churches, and their dioceses and religious institutes. As a recognized sovereign subject of international law, headed by the Pope, the Holy See is headquartered in, operates from, and exercises exclusive dominion over the independent Vatican City State Enclave in Rome, Italy. The Holy See maintains bilateral diplomatic relations with 172 sovereign states, signs concordats and treaties, and performs multilateral diplomacy with multiple intergovernmental organizations, including the United Nations and its agencies, the Council of Europe, the European Communities, the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe the Organization of American States and the Organization for African Unity. The Holy See is administered by the Roman Curia, Latin for Roman Court similar to a centralized government, with the Cardinal Secretary of State as its chief administrator, in addition to various dicasteries, comparable to ministries and executive departments. Papal elections are carried out by the College of Cardinals. Although the Holy See is sometimes metonymically referred to as the Vatican, the Vatican City State was distinctively established with the Lateran Treaty 1929 between the Holy See and Italy to ensure the temporal, diplomatic, and spiritual independence of the papacy. As such, ambassadors are officially accredited to the Holy See and not the Vatican City State. Conversely, papal nuncios to states and international organizations are recognized as representing the Holy See and the integrity of the Catholic Church along with its 1.3 billion members, not the Vatican City State, as prescribed also in the Canon Law of the Catholic Church, 1983. The Holy See thus refers to the See of Rome viewed as the central government of the Catholic Church. The Catholic Church, in turn, is the largest non-government provider of education and health care in the world, while the diplomatic status of the Holy See facilitates the access of its vast international network of charities. The word see comes from the Latin word sedis, meaning seat, which refers to the episcopal throne, cathedra. The term apostolic see can refer to any see founded by one of the apostles, but, when used with a definite article, it is used in the Catholic Church to refer specifically to the See of the Bishop of Rome, whom that Church sees as successor of St. Peter, the Prince of the Apostles. While St. Peter's Basilica in Vatican City is perhaps the Church most associated with the papacy, the actual Cathedral of the Holy See is the Archbasilica of St. John Lateran within the City of Rome. Every See is considered holy. In Greek, the adjective holy or sacred, transliterated as hyra, is constantly applied to all such seas as a matter of course. In the West, the adjective is not commonly added, but it does form part of an official title of two seas, besides the Diocese of Rome, the Holy See, the Bishopric of Mainz, the former Archbishopric of Mainz, which was also of electoral and primatial rank, bears the title of the Holy See of Mainz, Latin, Sanctus Mogentina. The Apostolic See of Rome was established in the first century by St. Peter, Prince of the Apostles, and St. Paul, then the capital of the Roman Empire, according to Catholic tradition. The legal status of the Catholic Church and its property was recognized by the Edict of Milan in 313 by Roman Emperor Constantine at Great, and it became the State Church of the Roman Empire by the Edict of Thessalonica in 380. After the fall of the Western Roman Empire in 476, the temporal legal jurisdiction of the papal primacy was further recognized as promulgated in canon law. The Holy See was granted territory in Duchy of Rome by the donation of Sutri in 728 of King Liutprand of the Lombards, and sovereignty by the donation of Papon in 756 by King Papon of the Franks. The Papal States held extensive territory and armed forces in 756 to 1870. Pope Leo III crowned Charlemagne as Roman Emperor by Translatio Imperii in 800. The papal coronations of the emperors of the Holy Roman Empire from 858 and the Dictatus Pape in 1075 mark the zunit of the temporal power claims. Several contemporary states still trace their own sovereignty to recognition in medieval papal bulls. Sovereignty of the Holy See was retained despite multiple sacks of Rome during the early Middle Ages. 
Yet, relations with the Kingdom of Italy and the Holy Roman Empire was at times strained, reaching from the Diploma Adonianum and Libellius de Imperatoria Potestate in Urbe Roma regarding the patrimony of St. Peter in the 10th century, to the investiture controversy in 1076 to 1122 and settled again by the Concordat of Worms in 1122. The exiled Avignon papacy during 1309-1376 also put a strain on the papacy, which was however finally returned to Rome. Pope Innocent X was critical of the Peace of Westphalia in 1648 as it weakened the authority of the Holy See throughout much of Europe. Following the French Revolution, the Papal States was briefly occupied as the Roman Republic in 1798-1799 as a sister republic of the First French Empire under Napoleon, before the territory was re-established. Notwithstanding, the Holy See was represented in and identified as a permanent subject of general customary international law vis-à-vis -vis all states in the Congress of Vienna in 1814-1815. The Papal States was recognized under the rule of the papacy and largely restored to their former extent. Despite the capture of Rome in 1870 by the Kingdom of Italy and the Roman question during the Savoyard era which made the Pope a prisoner in the Vatican 1870-1929, its international legal subject was constituted by the ongoing reciprocity of diplomatic relationships which were not only maintained but multiplied. The Lateran Treaty in February 11, 1929 between with Holy See and Italy recognized the Vatican City and an independent city-state, along with extraterritorial properties around the region. The Holy See is one of the last remaining seven absolute monarchies in the world, along with Saudi Arabia, Swaziland, United Arab Emirates, Qatar, Brunei, and Oman. The Pope governs the Catholic Church through the Roman Curia. The Roman Curia consists of a complex of offices that administer church affairs at the highest level, including the Secretariat of State, nine congregations, three tribunals, eleven pontifical councils, and seven pontifical commissions. The Secretariat of State, under the Cardinal Secretary of State, directs and coordinates the Curia. The incumbent, Cardinal Pietro Parolin, is the C's equivalent of a prime minister. Archbishop Paul Gallagher. Secretary of the Section for Relations with States of the Secretariat of State, acts as the Holy See's Minister of Foreign Affairs. Parolin was named in his role by Pope Francis on August 31, 2013. The Secretariat of State is the only body of the Curia that is situated within Vatican City. The others are in buildings in different parts of Rome that have extraterritorial rights similar to those of embassies. Among the most active of the major curial institutions are the Congregation for the Doctrine of the Faith, which oversees the Catholic Church's doctrine, the Congregation for Bishops, which coordinates the appointment of bishops worldwide, the Congregation for the Evangelization of Peoples, which oversees all missionary activities, and the Pontifical Council for Justice and Peace, which deals with international peace and social issues. Three tribunals exercise judicial power. The Roman Rota handles normal judicial appeals, the most numerous being those that concern alleged nullity of marriage. The Apostolic Signatura is the supreme appellate and administrative court concerning decisions even of the Roman Rota and administrative decisions of ecclesiastical superiors, bishops and superiors of religious institutes, such as closing a parish or removing someone from office. It also oversees the work of other ecclesiastical tribunals at all levels. The Apostolic Penitentiary deals not with external judgments or decrees, but with matters of conscience, granting absolutions from censures, dispensations, commutations, validations, condonations, and other favors. It also grants indulgences. The Prefecture for the Economic Affairs of the Holy See coordinates the finances of the Holy See departments and supervises the administration of all offices, whatever be their degree of autonomy, that manage these finances. The most important of these is the administration of the patrimony of the Apostolic See. The Prefecture of the Papal Household is responsible for the organization of the Papal Household, audiences, and ceremonies, apart from the strictly liturgical part. The Holy See does not dissolve upon a Pope's death or a resignation. It instead operates under a different set of laws set a vacant. During this interregnum, the heads of the dicasteries of the Roman Curia, such as the prefects of congregations, cease immediately to hold office, the only exceptions being the major penitentiary, who continues his important role regarding absolutions and dispensations, and the Camerlengo of the Holy Roman Church, who administers the temporalities, i.e., properties and finances, of the See of St. Peter during this period. The government of the See, and therefore of the Catholic Church, then falls to the College of Cardinals.
Canon law prohibits the college and the Camerlengo from introducing any innovations or novelties in the government of the church during this period. In 2001, the Holy See had a revenue of 422.098 billion Italian lira, about 202 million US dollars at the time, and a net income of 17.720 billion Italian lira, about 8 million US dollars. According to an article by David Lee in the Guardian newspaper, a 2012 report from the Council of Europe identified value of a section of the Vatican's property assets as an amount in excess of 680 million euros, 570 million pounds. As of January 2013, Paolo Manini, a papal official in Rome, manages this portion of the Holy See's assets, consisting of British investments, other European holdings and a currency trading arm. The Guardian newspaper described Manini and his role in the following manner, Paolo Manini, who is in effect the Pope's merchant banker. Manini heads a special unit inside the Vatican called the Extraordinary Division of APSA, Amministrazione del Patrimonio della Seta Apostolica, which handles the patrimony of the Holy See. The orders, decorations, and medals of the Holy See are conferred by the Pope as temporal sovereign and fons honorum of the Holy See, similar to the orders awarded by other heads of state. The Holy See has been recognized, both in state practice and in the writing of modern legal scholars, as a subject of public international law, with rights and duties analogous to those of states. Although the Holy See, as distinct from the Vatican City State, does not fulfill the long established criterion international law of statehood, Having a permanent population, a defined territory, a stable government and the capacity to enter into relations with other states, its possession of full legal personality in international law is shown by the fact that it maintains diplomatic relations with 180 states, that it is a member state in various intergovernmental international organizations, and that it is, respected by the international community of sovereign states and treated as a subject of international law having the capacity to engage in diplomatic relations and to enter into binding agreements with one, several, or many states under international law that are largely geared to establish and preserving peace in the world. Since medieval times the Episcopal See of Rome has been recognized as a sovereign entity. The Holy See, not the state of Vatican City maintains formal diplomatic relations with and for the most recent establishment of diplomatic relations with sovereign states, and also with the European Union, and the Sovereign Military Order of Malta, as well as having relations of a special character with the Palestine Liberation Organization, 69 of the diplomatic missions accredited to the Holy See are situated in Rome. The Holy See maintains 180 permanent diplomatic missions abroad, of which 74 are non-residential so that many of its 106 concrete missions are accredited to two or more countries or international organizations. The diplomatic activities of the Holy See are directed by the Secretariat of State, headed by the Cardinal Secretary of State, through the Section for Relations with States. There are 15 internationally recognized states with which the Holy See does not have relations. The Holy See is the only European subject of international law that has diplomatic relations with the government of the Republic of China, usually known as Taiwan, as representing China, rather than the government of the People's Republic of China, see Holy See Taiwan relations. The British Foreign and Commonwealth Office speaks of Vatican City as the capital of the Holy See, although it compares the legal personality of the Holy See to that of the Crown and Christian monarchies and declares that the Holy See and the state of Vatican City are two international identities. It also distinguishes between the employees of the Holy See, 2,750 working in the Roman Curia with another 333 working in the Holy See's diplomatic missions abroad, and the 1,909 employees of the Vatican City State. The British ambassador to the Holy See uses more precise language, saying that the Holy See is not the same as the Vatican City State. It is the universal government of the Catholic Church and operates from the Vatican City State. This agrees exactly with the expression used by the website of the United States Department of State. In giving information on both the Holy See and the Vatican City State, it too says that the Holy See operates from the Vatican City State. The Holy See is a member of various international organizations and groups including the International Atomic Energy Agency, IAEA, International Telecommunication Union, the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe, OSCE, the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons, OPCW, and the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, UNHCR. The Holy See is also a permanent observer in various international organizations, including the United Nations General Assembly, the Council of Europe, UNESCO, United Nations Educational, 
Scientific and Cultural Organization, the World Trade Organization, WTO, and the Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO. The Holy See participates as an observer to African Union, Arab League, Council of Europe, Organization of American States, International Organization for Migration, and in the United Nations and its agencies FAO, ELO, UNTAD, UNEP, UNESCO, UN Habitat, UNHCR, UNIDO, UNDO, WFP, WHO, WIPO. It participates as a guest in the Non-Aligned Movement, NAM, and as a full member in IAEA. OPCW, Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe as Although the Holy See is closely associated with the Vatican City, the independent territory over which the Holy See is sovereign, the two entities are separate and distinct. After the Italian seizure of the Papal States in 1870, the Holy See had no territorial sovereignty. In spite of some uncertainty among jurists as to whether it could continue to act as an independent personality in international matters. The Holy See continued in fact to exercise the right to send and receive diplomatic representatives, maintaining relations with states that included the major powers Russia, Prussia and Austria-Hungary. Where, in accordance with the decision of the 1815 Congress of Vienna, the nuncio was not only a member of the diplomatic corps but its dean, this arrangement continued to be accepted by the other ambassadors. In the course of the 59 years during which the Holy See held no territorial sovereignty, the number of states that had diplomatic relations with it, which had been reduced to 16, actually increased to 29. The state of the Vatican City was created by the Lateran Treaty in 1929 to ensure the absolute and visible independence of the Holy See and to guarantee to it an indisputable sovereignty in international affairs. Archbishop Jean-Louis Toron, the Holy See's former Secretary for Relations with States, said that the Vatican City is a minuscule support state that guarantees the spiritual freedom of the Pope of the minimum territory. The Holy See, not the Vatican City, maintains diplomatic relations with states. Foreign embassies are accredited to the Holy See, not to the Vatican City, and it is the Holy See that establishes treaties and concordats with other sovereign entities. When necessary, the Holy See will enter a treaty on behalf of the Vatican City. Under the terms of the Lateran Treaty, the Holy See has extraterritorial authority over various sites in Rome and two Italian sites outside of Rome, including the Pontifical Palace at Castel Gandolfo. The same authority is extended under international law over the Apostolic Nunciature of the Holy See in a foreign country. Though, like various European powers, earlier popes recruited Swiss mercenaries as part of an army, the Pontifical Swiss Guard was founded by Pope Julius II on January 22, 1506 as the personal bodyguard of the Pope and continues to fulfill that function. It is listed in the Annuario Pontificio under Holy See, not under State of Vatican City. At the end of 2005, the Guard had 134 members. Recruitment is arranged by a special agreement between the Holy See and Switzerland. All recruits must be Catholic, unmarried males with Swiss citizenship who have completed their basic training with the Swiss Armed Forces with certificates of good conduct, be between the ages of 19 and 30, and be at least 175 centimeters, 5 feet 9 in, in height. Members are armed with small arms in the traditional Albert, also called the Swiss Vulge, and trained in bodyguarding tactics. The police force within Vatican City, known as the Corps of Gendarmerie of Vatican City, belongs to the city-state, not to the Holy See. The difference between the two coats of arms is that the arms of the Holy See have the gold key and bend and the silver key and bend sinister, as in the set of vacant coat of arms and in the external ornaments of the papal coats of arms of individual popes, while the reversed arrangement of the keys was chosen for the arms off the newly founded Vatican City State in 1929. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.